Bulging eyes are usually a cause for concern. So what causes them and how can they be treated? Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Saya Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. And if you wanna stay in the know on all things related to eye health, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. There are two medical terms for eye bulging. One term is called exophthalmos and another term is called proptosis. Now both of these conditions can make your eyes look bigger or cause them to stick out. So what's the difference between proptosis and exophthalmos? So proptosis is the general term for any abnormal forward movement of the eyeball. Proptosis can happen for many different reasons, including infections, tumors, or even injury to the eye. Proptosis can happen in one eye, which we would call unilateral proptosis. It can also happen to both eyes, which we call bilateral proptosis. Now, exophthalmos is a specific type of proptosis. This term typically refers to the bulging eyes that are caused by thyroid problems like Graves' disease, which is an autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid. Exophthalmos typically affects both eyes, and when it comes to eye bulging, Thyroid disease is the most common cause. This disease can cause inflammation in the muscles and tissues that are around the eyes, and then this tissue swelling is what pushes the eye forward. This is called thyroid eye disease. It's often abbreviated as TED. And other signs of thyroid eye disease include eyelid retraction, where the upper eyelid is really pulled far back. When patients have bilateral eyelid retraction, it can give the eyes a wide open staring appearance. And in some cases of thyroid eye disease, Patients can even get double vision because the eye muscles that control the eye movements become affected and they cannot move smoothly together. This causes patients to have double vision because our eye muscles are supposed to move at the same time in the same direction. Thyroid eye disease can also cause other problems like dry eye. So when it comes to having bulging eyes from thyroid eye disease, controlling and treating the thyroid condition that is the root cause of the problem is one of the most important parts of your health healthcare. Now let's talk about another potential reason someone could have bulging eyes, and this is having an orbital tumor. An orbital tumor is a growth in or around the eye socket. It can be benign, which means it's a growth, but it's not cancerous or malignant. It can push the eye forward and cause it to bulge. Depending on where it is, tumors in the eye socket can cause one eye to protrude or both eyes to protrude. Another reason for eye bulging is having an infection. So one example of this is something called orbital cellulitis, and that's an infection around the tissues of the eye. The infection can cause significant swelling. It can push the eye forward and orbital cellulitis typically comes from a sinus infection that has spread to the area around the eyes. So it is really important to get treated quickly if you have symptoms of orbital cellulitis, like pain or swelling around the eye. Orbital cellulitis is a pretty serious condition that often requires the patient to stay in the hospital overnight for maybe several days for close monitoring as well as for antibiotic treatment. Also, injuries to the orbital bones that hold the eye in place can also cause the eye to push forward. But of course, this is something that you are going to know that if you've had trauma to the eye. Now, a more rare condition that can cause eye bulging is something called a CC fistula, which stands for carotid cavernous fistula. In this problem, there's actually an abnormal connection inside the blood vessels in the brain that cause the eye to look very red and it can also cause them to bulge. It usually causes bulging on just one side, but it can cause bulging on both. If you notice that your eyes are bulging, it's important to see not just an eye doctor, but also your regular doctor. Given that thyroid disease is one of the most common causes, it is important to have lab work done as well as a full evaluation to make sure that your thyroid is normal. Now, in addition to lab work, you may also need a CT scan or an MRI to get a better sense of what is going on in the orbit. And then once you have a diagnosis, your primary care doctor as well as your eye doctor can help come up with a treatment plan. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to hit the like button below and I'll see you in the next video.